anger and rejection on the streets of Madrid for a potential amnesty for exiled Catalan separatists. Six years ago, an illegal independence referendum saw some Catalan leaders flee the country. Carles Puigdemont, the most prominent. Now, over two months since Spain's July general elections, the country still doesn't have a government and forming one could hang on this one decision. This protest is also a rallying cry ahead an attempt by Conservative leader Alberto Núñez Feijó to become Spain's new Prime Minister. The problem is that his People's Party didn't win enough seats in Congress despite their uneasy alliance with far-right party Vox. Acting Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez has the only realistic chance of winning a new mandate with a broad leftist coalition, but he needs the support of the hardline Catalan Junts party. The price is the pardon of its leader Puigdemont and his colleagues. Sánchez's opponents say he is negotiating with fugitives and traitors. Estamos gobernados por una persona que es un enfermo. We have a madman in power right now. He's neurotic and narcissistic. Look up the definition in any psychology book and see how it matches his behavior. He lies and manipulates the public. Puigdemont has to face the law. That's what justice is about. To be responsible for his actions like any other citizen, we're all accountable for our own actions. Catalan independence remains the most divisive issue in Spanish politics and the government has defended its conciliatory approach. They have already pardoned nine Catalan separatists. Es falso, rotundamente falso. It's false, completely false, that Catalan independence should be decisive in Spain's governance. For decades it's never had fewer votes than now. It's another socialist fallacy. I've seen some of the things that have been said, not just by the opposition, but also in the conservative media. And we've had five years of apocalyptic prophecies that have never come to pass. Should Sanchez decide against the amnesty deal, then it's likely that neither party will have enough seats to govern. That would send the country back to the polls again early next year for its sixth general election in nine years.